Whatever you calling my phone for, I don't want it I see some things, every connection's nothing that I want And it's time to have some fun, spend some love, throw some money I'm not in the house no more, fucked up and worried Let go of me, let go of me I said let go of me, let go of me What's up y'all, it's your girl Katora and welcome to Katora's World So today we are going to be talking about how being in a toxic relationship and one and a half kids is not the best idea. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell every time your girl posts the video. And yeah, let's get into this because this is a very serious and very important topic that I've been wanting to touch base on for a very, very, very long time. Okay, you guys. If you are in a relationship and you want to have kids, but you are in a toxic relationship, I advise you not to do it. Don't do it. Because it's going to get even more toxic once the baby gets here. You're going to go through a lot during your pregnancy. And all across the board, it's just a bad idea. And I'm going to give you an example. If you're in a relationship and you're constantly getting cheated on, you're constantly getting lied to. You're constantly getting bullied. You're constantly getting beat on. You're constantly getting gaslit. You're constantly going through whatever toxic situation that you're going through. When you get pregnant, that is not going to make him change. It's not going to make him be a better person. It's not going to make him want to treat you any better. If anything, it's going to hit harder and it's going to feel worse because now you're pregnant and now you're wondering why this person is doing the things that they're doing to you and you're pregnant and about to have their baby. That's all it's going to do. It's going to add on to your plea. You cannot expect to have a toxic relationship and think that once the baby get here or that once you get pregnant that everything is going to change. Nothing changes except there's a baby now involved. So now you're going through a pregnancy where you're crying all of the time. You're stressed out. You're emotionally and physically and mentally burnt out. And you don't know what to do. Causing stress on you, causing stress on the baby. The whole situation is just stressful. And you're putting yourself through that for what? Because you love this person? Love is not supposed to hurt. It's, it's the honest truth. You have to put yourself first when it comes to situations like this. Don't put yourself in a situation that's going to make your life even harder than what it needs to be. You're already going through a bunch of BS in a relationship. So why add on the stresses of potentially having a baby? Or having a baby? And that's just going through pregnancy. Now, what about when you actually do have the baby? Now you're dealing with somebody that's being mean to you, that's lying to you, cheating on you, and now you're wondering how I got your child, and we supposed to be a family, and you're cheating on me, and you're hurting me, and you're abusing me. Oh, and don't let him be crazy. Now you can't go nowhere, and the child not going nowhere. Oh, you better not take my child nowhere. Excuse me, police is going by. You better not take my child nowhere. You can't leave the house. You're stuck in the house. Now you're stuck in the house with a baby. He done took the car keys. He done took your keys. He done took whatever he needed to take or threatened you the way that he needed to threaten you in order for you to stay in the house. You don't have nowhere to go. Especially if you have no family, what are you gonna do? Who are you going to turn to? Where are you really going to go? See, when you're in a toxic relationship, a lot of people don't think about all of this because they're, they're stuck in la-la land. They're stuck with this fantasy in their head that everything is going to be okay. But that's not always the case. You're going to go through hell. You are. You're going to be upset. You're going to be miserable. Yes, you are. If you're in a toxic relationship, yes. And you might have to do with him being a deadbeat. Him pretending that he's the best father in the world and he's not. 
In his mind, he might think that he's the best father in the world, but you know for a fact that he's not. Especially when he's constantly hurting you. He's hitting you in front of the baby. He's hitting you while you're pregnant. That's not a good dad. That's an abusive dad. Calling you out your name, not caring about how you feel, hurting your feelings all the time. Why would you want to bring a baby into that environment? What's that baby going to do with grow up and see how you're being treated? And that's going to mess them up psychologically. Now they looking at their father some type of way. Now they looking at you some type of way. Oh, you're the reason why daddy left. Oh, daddy, you're the reason why the family broke up. Now the baby has to choose sides or the child have to choose sides because his family is is split apart and unstable. Now they're wondering, oh, why their father don't love them or why their mother don't love them. It's too much. It's way too much. We really have to be more mindful with who we choose to have children by because love is not enough to raise a child. A child is supposed to be raised upon love, yeah. But just because you love somebody doesn't mean that you're supposed to be with them. It doesn't mean that you need to be with them. It doesn't mean that you're supposed to be with them. You need a little bit more, well, way more than love to make a relationship last. And when you're constantly getting the short end of the stick, how do you expect for the relationship to last? If you're not being fulfilled in a relationship, how are you expecting for the relationship to last? We really have to start being more mindful because everybody isn't for you. And if you're in a toxic relationship, you're in a relationship that you know that you don't want to be in, but you love this person so much and you just don't want to let them go, don't have kids with them. You don't even want to be with them. And if you do want to be with them, you know you're not supposed to be with them. You're wondering why they're treating you like this and why they're acting like this and why they can't just be faithful and love you. You do not need to have children by this person. It is not going to make him act right. It's not going to make him do what he's supposed to do. To you. He might step up for the baby. Hopefully, he steps up for the baby. <clears throat> but you're not going to get what you thought you was going to get out of it. And you're just going to keep getting treated the same way. Why would somebody treat you any differently when you was accepting everything that they did? You was accepting what they did. You may cry, you may, oh, why did you do this? But you ultimately accept it because you stayed. So why would they treat you any differently? Because you're pregnant? In a real world, you would think that that would change somebody, but it, it, it doesn't. If anything, it might push that person further away from you, especially if they didn't want the child. Think about it. If you're already in the situation, you need to leave the situation. There's no reason to be in a situation where you're constantly being abused, mentally, physically, emotionally. Don't try to do it for the kids because you're going to mess up your child. I guarantee you, you're going to mess up your child. You staying in a relationship because you're trying to do it for the kids, it's not going to work. You already know what this person is about. You're going to be getting the short end of the stick. You're going to be miserable. And you cannot be all abused and bruised, whether it's mentally, physically, emotionally, and think that you're going to be able to raise a child efficiently. It's not going to work. You're going to be depressed. Your anxiety is going to be up. You're going to be stressed. How can you pour love into your child when you're not even receiving love yourself? We need to really start being mindful because it's really getting it's really getting serious out here. People are getting in relationships and their children are dying from the hands of these men. Whether it's their real father, whether it's a stepfather, a boyfriend, these toxic relationships is not a place for kids. 
women are losing their lives every day due to toxic relationships. Toxic ex situations. This world is starting to get scary and you do not need to be bringing your child into a situation that you know for a fact that you don't even want to be in. You don't even want to be experiencing the things that you're going through. So why would you put a child through it? It's not worth it. I promise you it's not worth it. Alright you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you get notified every time your girl posts a new video. And yeah, let's start being a little bit more mindful. You don't want it to be detrimental and something irreversible coming along like death. Alright you guys, I'll see you in the next clip.